Hi, just a quick video to show you uh, how, how, I'm, how and why I'm going to move my lights up here. Now, let me show you if I haven't, uh, let's get this off the tripod. There's an issue with my overhead LED lights here and you'll notice that they are pretty much directly over my bench, which is fantastic if you want to work on stuff but if you're shooting primarily shooting videos which is what i do because this i am effectively in a video recording studio it's a real pain in the ass and you've probably seen this on my videos take a look at what it does to this uh tagano microscope here i want to of course uh use this microscope for the blog but look right i've got let's to even if I turn on the light here, well let's, okay, the light is not on on my Tagano microscope. There's a light under here, so I'm just relying on the ambient lab lights. And you'll see, check it out, there's a glare on that board. And if I move it around, you can see the glare from the overhead lights. You can see the pattern on it. And that's really annoying. Obviously, I want something to sit flat on there and to be able to use it. And even if I turn on the internal light, where is it? There it is. There we go. So I've got the light down there. Nice, even internal light. I still get that overhead reflected light because it's practically right above it. So, uh, and also, if I turn that off, I'll get... Normally my camera will be at about this angle here like this. And on the uh, tripod when I'm uh, shooting uh, videos just uh, standing here and I'll get the same thing. Usually I'll tilt it towards me like that and I'll get that annoying reflection off uh, screens, LCD screens, plastic covers and boards, gloss boards like this, the gloss solder mask on the board. So it really is quite annoying. Um, yeah, I've got my secondary uh, lights here as you've uh, seen before and I've got a remote uh, control for these and I usually switch these on here when I uh, I've got a couple of them along here, so I've got these two along this uh, thing here, but these two are directly over my bench, so I'm going to have to move those back over to here in order to uh, get rid of that reflection coming back from the camera or to the microscope. And I've got a uh, fourth LED panel which I can uh, install as well, because that one up there is still a uh, well it's a lead light but it's not a lead panel like this it's not matched it's uh actually uses a fluoro uh, tube replacement lead light so yeah um that is the plan so if i put the lights sort of i can move them from there to there but uh really that's probably going to get the angle down onto the microscope it's going to come down here and then bounce back up so for that microscope, it'll fix my camera tripod issue, but it won't fix this microscope issue. So I'm probably going to have to move it to the far side of this tile here. So that's the plan anyway. Move these damn lights. And I've still got the overhead lights here, which are also on remote control. If I need uh, good lights over my bench, then that'll these LED lights that I got from uh, Doug... He will, um, these will do like a thousand lux on the bench. So if I really want to work on stuff and I'm not recording video, then that is definitely, definitely the way to go. So I've still got those. So I need to move those over here. Ah, uh, time to get my hands dirty. And here we go. I've just temporarily moved it over. Yes, that uh, dark spot there, I must have uh, accidentally bumped one of the four uh, quadrant drivers. There's four separate constant current uh, drivers for this uh, panel they're edge on uh, lit so that's why it's a bit dark there anyway I've moved it so if I have a look here now look exactly the same image it's gone there you go the glare is gone beautiful if I tilt it back like this we'll obviously get the glare but anything flat works well so that's right on the edge of my bench you can see my bare feet there I always work in bare feet and uh, there we go. So that looks like it's just the optimum position for anything on the edge of this bench for getting the angle coming down like this for my Tagano microscope. So I can turn my light on for my Tagano microscope and then, of course, if you don't have it flat, if you tilt it back, that's the glare from the LED in the Tagano microscope itself. But when it's sitting flat, I no longer have any glare from the overhead light. So that's fantastic. And of course, because the light 
is behind me, if I got my camera on my tripod, this is a typical angle it would uh, be at when I'm shooting a teardown or something else. I really have to tilt it all the way back like this now to get glare. You can see my two different panels at two different angles there. So it's really got to be a fair way back to get glare on that. But there's nothing I can do about it. I've got to have light somewhere. And there we go. We're installed. And you can see, I, well, I still have to cut some acoustic panel and uh, stuff like that. But uh, those ones are permanently on. Those two there. Shame about the air conditioning. Uh, outlet there. I could move it, but it's a lot of effort. So I could actually have them all in a line and here we go. I can uh, switch on those extra two to really ramp up the light in the lab here. I haven't done any uh, lux readings with this additional light here, but yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, generally that's quite blinding for everyday use, but for shooting videos, that's what I have to work under and often you have to squint and stuff like that. It really is quite bright, but that works a treat. So I now, I still have this light here over the bench, directly over the bench, but it's not in line with, it's not over my teardown bench there, which is where I shoot the majority of my videos. So it's not directly over. That one over there, I re ne neither was that one actually. I just wanted to get that one out of the road because that's where my Tagano microscope is going. So uh, that PC is going to be by the way, that PC is going to be mounted down there. That's going to be my live streaming uh, PC. So that captures the HDMI plus um, other webcams, which I'm going to have, and I'm going to be able to do my live shows with that. So there you go. That's pretty good. Fairly happy with that. Catch you next time.